I walked into work the other day, unobstructed. I passed by the cubicles of people who greeted me with warmth, while others avoided eye contact in a way they thought was sly. I began to wonder what if the people who avoided eye contact had petitioned in an effort to prevent me from getting my job. What if they called me nigger behind my back as my talent helped buy them the cars which drove them to fancy restaurants? Restaurants which made me eat out of sight, never within earshot. Just go play baseball and be gracious, they told him. Be silent. Whatever you do, please just be silent. You see, that was the deal in 1947. Once denied access to manicured fields and basic levels of dignity, now they put him on a pedestal in the afternoon and hid him from access after dark. Eyes greeted him with resentment, with skepticism, with awe. Hypocrisy embedded in the uniform that covered his body. Still, he played. He would not be a cool Papa Bell or a Josh Gibson. He would be, you ever heard of Martin Diego? He played baseball once upon a time. Diego was serviceable and irrelevant every time he entered and exited a Negro League ball field. You ever heard of a guy named Rube Foster? Rube didn't have a branch, Ricky, but he played for, managed, and ran his own teams. Was Rube Foster the black Christy Matthewson? No, he was the black Rube Foster, and he made the Baseball Hall of Fame without ever playing a game of organized baseball. Before and after Jackie, you see. Do you see? Jackie played, he played, Jackie Robinson played aggressive, passive baseball. He could not react to insults or injustices. Steal bases, drive your opponents to distraction while putting your team first and peace of mind second. That was the deal. You should know these things about Jackie Robinson. Pioneers make declarations. They passed before their time, and sometimes these men wear a boy's uniform in a coward's world, a world that reluctantly looked him in the eye for the first time on April 15, 1947. He was more than just the first black man to play within self-righteous white lines. He had to absorb hatred and loathing as if breathing in air. He had to endure and say nothing, for that was the deal. You ever walked up to a fountain that said, you can't, or a bathroom that said, don't even think about it? His fate decided by an institution which ignored and suppressed his kind for years. For it was in their best interests, the best interests of baseball. Still, he played, Jackie played. His interesting play was the foundation for the future and current best interests of baseball. Suddenly, Hank Aaron was interesting. Willie Mays, McCovey, and Starger were of interest as well. Bob Gibson, Rod Carew, Reggie Jackson, they were all interesting. Do you think Junior Griffey plays an interesting game of baseball? 50 years ago yesterday, he wouldn't even garner the interest of the baseball encyclopedia. Are you getting the point? Jackie Robinson was beyond interesting. He was mesmerizing, captivating. He was trailblazing. Ten years he played in a league that was organized, therefore recognized. Fifty years ago today, they let him play for the first time. <laughs>